All right, guys on Face Gaming, back again with another GTA Online glitch video. And in this video, I am going to show you how to merge the IAA badge or any other net components onto any other top. So basically, yeah, I have found a merge component for the male character where you can merge neckwear. So scarves, ties, IAA badge, whatever you want to merge onto another top. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, I'll show you the merge component and then I'm just going to build a really simple outfit just to show you basically what you can do with this. So what you're going to do is you're going to go onto your female character. Obviously these are components for the male character so you need to start off on your female. What you're going to do is you're going to put on the leather jacket, the one that we use to do the full merge outfit. What I'm building up here is the same outfit we had before so I'm building up a full merge outfit with the gun belt on as well so that's the blue digital gun running t-shirt then what we're going to do next is we're going to make our way over to the shoe section and we are going to put on the merge shoes which are the mono retro runners and then next up and this is the important part chains what you want is the platinum lc necklace now it's sixty thousand dollars so yeah it's expensive but this is the merge component for neckwear so as i said before scarves ties other necklaces iaa necklaces uh paramedics stethoscopes any of those items you've got from dire uh, director mode glitch you can use this for as well uh, we're also going to put sports pants on because obviously they're the merge pants so this outfit is now a full merge outfit um, we're just going to save that into an outfit slot, uh, the same as we did with the gun belt basically, but this time uh, the way it will work is because we've got the merge component for the neck on there as well, we'll be able to merge absolutely everything into it including the IAA badge which I'm going to show you how to transfer in a second. So once we've got our merge outfit saved, we're just going to go ahead and create a really simple outfit. So what I'm going to put on now is the patched darted vest which is going to turn into the yellow deadline top so with patched darted vest there and underneath the patched darted vest i always tend to go with just a plain black bikini top purely because that is the component for no top and it just basically stops you getting any unwanted things shining through your uh, deadline suit so i'm just going to go with the black bikini next up what we're going to do is we're going to go to the accessories section and obviously just double check that the chain is on there because some tops will remove it. So the chain is on there. So we've got the merge component on there now. Now pants wise, we are just going to go with some merge pants. So I'm quite simply just going to put the sports pants back on that we had on earlier. And once we've done that, I'm going to make our way over to the shoe section. And I'm going to put on some yellow deadline shoes, which are the black slack boots. So once we've got this outfit together, we've basically got yellow deadline shoes, a yellow deadline top. We've got merge gloves and we've got merge pants. So once we get back onto our male character, what we're going to do is we're going to build an outfit to merge into this one. So I'm just going to save it into a slot here at the end. I'm just going to call it yellow because obviously it's going to be yellow. In case you haven't already guessed, we are building the outfit from the thumbnail. Um, so, like I said, we are going to merge the yellow joggers onto this outfit when we get back onto the male character. So at this point now, obviously, you guys will probably be building a few more outfits. But in this particular video, I'm just going to show you this one outfit. So we are going to go across now to the male character. Obviously, the link to the full transfer glitch is in the description. You can't just change characters and the outfits will magically appear. You do have to do the glitch, which is linked down below in the description. So once you transfer back onto your male character, you'll notice that I have actually got a joggers outfit with the IAA badges already on it. And that's because this was the outfit I was wearing before I did the glitch. Obviously, you keep the outfit you're wearing. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit the sand cargo pants. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to fit a pair of boots that will turn them into joggers. So basically any of the boots like these that scrunch up the bottoms, that's just turning them into joggers essentially. Because we've already got the deadline shoes on our merge outfit. So all we're doing is merging these pants. And obviously we had 
glove merge components on the outfit as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to pinch the gloves off this racing top. So as I said before, the IAA badges are from the director mode glitch. I have got links in the description to the director mode glitch. However, getting the badges in the first place can be a little bit tricky and a little bit tedious. So there's just a, a warning there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to save this outfit just before the yellow outfit that we're going to be merging it into. Now I would like to say before we go any further, there is no component for the IAA badge. It does have to be merged onto another outfit, which does limit you in a way because you can't put it on stuff like full outfits. So for example, you couldn't put it on a deadline suit, you couldn't put it on a Gorka suit, you couldn't put it on a flight suit or anything like that. You are quite limited as to what you can actually put it on. So unfortunately, that is one limitation of it because there's no actual component for it. You literally have to merge it onto any outfit that you want to make with it. So it can be a little bit tricky at first to get your head around it. Like I say, in this particular video, I'm just building the one outfit just to hopefully make it easy for you guys to understand. So at the minute, all I'm doing is I'm going into a public session. When I did the transfer, I always go straight into an invite-only session. You've got more chance of uh, of the transfer working because obviously you want time out. But it's easier to find a partner for Crooked Cop when you're in a public session. So as soon as I get into the public session, I'm going to do Play Jobs, Rockstar Created versus Crooked Cop. And it's the same as any other merge component. So if you already know what you're doing with merging, then it's fine. Don't worry about watching this video. You already know exactly what to do, probably. If you want to have a look how the outfit turns out, then carry on watching. But uh, if you make it into Crooked Cop, you're going to need to find at least one other person to play it with. If you put it on player-owned clothing, you, you can't get away with it on classic or themed clothing. It has to be player-owned clothing because obviously you want to be merging your own outfits. Uh, once you've found a player to play Crooked Cop with you, you're going to come to the outfit selection screen like this. Now what you want to do is you want to make your way down to your outfits and obviously we want to merge this into the yellow outfit. So I'm just going to flip to the left once and as you can see, because we had merged gloves and merged pants on our yellow outfit, it's dragged the race gloves and it's dragged the yellow joggers across from the outfit that we were wearing. It's also dragged the IAA badges because we were wearing them and we had merged components for the neck on our yellow outfit. So there you go, guys. Pretty simple to merge it across. As I said, you can be a little bit limited to what you can actually do with it. But once you get into Crooked Cop anyway, it's the usual story. All you need to do is you're going to bring up your interaction menu as soon as you land. You're going to go down to Style. You're going to go to Accessories, Gear, flick an LCD earpiece on. Then you're going to bring up your phone and quit through your phone. Now, once you spawn into the new session, you will have this outfit on. But obviously, what we're looking to do is we're looking to merge the gun belt onto it as well. So do you remember the outfit we saved into slot one with the gun belt attached as well as all the other merge components? So essentially, we're just going to merge this entire outfit now into slot one, and we're going to get the gun belt attached to it as well. So I'm just going to go and save this outfit, and then I'm going to start up Crooked Cop again. So once you're in Crooked Cop, Obviously, the same thing applies. We're just going to go down to our outfits, and this time we're going to go one to the right, like that. And as you can see, it's merged the gun belt onto the outfit that we had before. So that's all we were looking for, guys. And then, obviously, once you're in the job, you do the same thing again. You put a rebreather on or the LCD earpiece, quit the job through your phone, and go and save the outfit. Now, there's no need for me to show you that twice. So once you've quit out of Crooked Cop, you're just going to go ahead and save the outfit. Now that's it guys, I'm not going to show you anything else in this video, it's quite simple, if you are used to merging then you'll love this, you know exactly what you can do with this uh, merge component, because obviously the IAA badge is pretty sought after, everyone loves it, so it's always a good thing to be able to merge it onto other outfits. Now, as I said before, you are kind of limited to what outfits you can put it onto, the yellow deadline top is the only top that you can put it onto. You know, you can't put it onto any of the other colours of Deadline Top. But any purchasable clothing, so anything that you can buy from the clothing store, it will transfer over. So if you want to buy a top, 
in the clothing store, the IAA badge will transfer over. So then all you need to do is just merge it into whatever pants or whatever you want. So it is quite useful for stuff like that. But as I said, it's not ideal. It is quite limited. But there you go anyway. I said I'd release it today. And there it is. So hope you go and have some fun with it. Remember to tag me in your pictures on Twitter if you're uploading outfit pictures, especially if you're merging IAA badges or other next stuff. Um, big shout out to Xtiffit as always for the lists of components that she's done. I'll also put a link to her channel in the description because if you want female outfits, there is actually a neck component for the female merge if you want to use that on your female. So for now, that's it from me anyway. If you've enjoyed the video, remember to stick a like on it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.